Note that the quantity of wire wrapped around here is enough to extinguish any battery in a short time. And also these windings would heat up a lot. But here we do not have this problem. This motor, as it is, without a fan attachment, spins at more than 2500 rotations per minute. And the rotor is very much reduced because it's made of magnets and has no wiring. And with the fan it reaches 800 or 900 rpm. We can observe here that there is no type of heating of any kind. Normally, if you connect a battery to a coil like this, there is a substantial amount of heating up that now while the fan is running, we are going to charge a third battery. We can see that it presently shows 11.1 volts. Note that the third battery has already reached 11.28 volts, 29, it continues to increase charge while the motor is running. Well then, the viewers might ask themselves, but why such a large motor as this? This one here is a lab test device, but it can be reduced substantially to a portable size. In fact, one of the great advantages of this motor is the portability of this kind of device. With a small battery, we can make it run for an uncomparably longer period of time. This has a practical and immediate application to the car industry, for example, where a car alternator can recharge its own battery while at the same time, of course, this motor can be used for mechanical force because its torque uh, is very reasonable. Another industrial application would be to avoid overheating problems, line overloads and burning or short-circuiting installations, because this motor uh, runs cold. You can see that if, uh, if I suddenly stop it, there is no short circuit. The coil remains completely cool and it resumes immediately upon restarting the system. I would like to stress that this electromagnetic circuit causes the magnetic field to capture electricity derived from this scalar field that Dr. Kepi explains well in his book uh, The New Physics. This is enough to maintain the battery very much longer and at the same time recharge other batteries in addition to the mechanical furnishings. So this one here is a more developed version of the motor. We are using two coils and four pulses to generate the movement, which gives more power and speed. We can see here that with only 3 volts and practically less than 6 watts, we are able to start it. Now Cesar will speed it up a little bit for us to see how fast the motor can spin with only 15 watts at 3000 rpm, I mean less than a lamp, one sixth of a lamp. We can already put it to run at a speed similar to the conventional motors. Let's do it then. Let's do it. As I put it up, uh this is the current and this is the voltage. We are now with uh, 6 vo volts, 7 volts, 7 and 3 and 0 0.3 amps. Look, 8 volts, 9 volts, 10 volts and half amp. This is 5 watts, 3 volts, 14 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 23, 25, 30 volts. With 30 volts, the motor is consuming 0 0.4 amps. 
this is less than 15 watts consumption and the rotor is rotating at about 3000 3100 rpm so as you can see a cold coil a highly efficient machine this motor we repeat that uh, because it uses the two components of energy it has applications to medicine also being of great benefit to mankind in the sense of eliminating the atmospheric pollution and improving people's health because it practically works with the same energy of our body which is always this color essential energy in the two directions it is more in accordance with our vital energy and so Cesar Sos is here with us and he graduated from the Polytechnic School of the University of Sao Paulo that's right at the Polytechnic in Mining and Energy in 1984 and Roberto where did Roberto study? I didn't complete my formal education, but I studied physics and engineering. In Sao Carlos, as yes, I Yes, in Sao Carlos and here in the University of Sao Paulo as well. Our audience can be certain that concerning motors, you are witnessing the greatest invention in physics anywhere in the world. Now this implies a complete change. So I would like to show what is our intention? What do we have in mind with this motor? Bia is going to show you a chart. Let's see, first. To help people to have a smoother, more easygoing existence. For example, to have electricity for free. Not to have to pay for gasoline anymore. Not to breathe this polluted air everywhere. And secondly, to avoid the enormous exploitation imposed by the powers that be. And thirdly, to save the planet from this incredible pollution of the air, the oceans, and the rivers. And fourthly, to preserve the richness of the planet, water, earth, air. Did you know that the seas are polluted exactly because of the plastics that are made from petroleum? And the petroleum itself that always leaks and spills. This pollutes as well, the leaks from the ships. In fifth place, to have an existence of human dignity. Observation, this will be the great liberation of the human being in the third millennium. Take a look at my book about liberation. It was one of the first I wrote, entitled Liberation. This book is showing now how the human being can liberate himself from all this terrible economic issue that we have to deal with. Take a look at this book, which is now in its third edition. Now the people can really liberate themselves from this heavy economic burden, and entire countries can now develop substantially better. And liberate from their own restrictions to accomplishment. Isn't that so, Dr. Kepi? This will open many doors to human development. This will even help the human being to think better because this type of energy is in accordance with human nature, this new energy brought by this motor. That is, it will even work to make human thoughts more balanced. And in the next program, we are going to make a comparison between the functioning of this motor in terms of physics and mechanics and our own motor, the inner motor, which is the human being. We are scalar motors as well. See you next program. Until then.